Hello. So, what I have here is one of my sub-levels that I'm making for my upcoming cave. Uh, I've kind of dubbed this one Ant Hill, but it's kind of a variety. Um, I haven't set the spawns yet, so they still have uh, spawns from like the final room of the cave. If you go, I don't know, southward, down this way, you come to the cinder block room. Uh, this one is meant to be easily reachable with yellows and uh, I had to fix, you can uh, walk in and out of these before it wasn't working so well you would get stuck in there. Uh, I wanted this to be a little bit more dis discreet and maybe not so circular but there's uh, this hole right here underneath the uh, cinder block and it brings you up to a little platform back here you can throw yellows on top of the cinder block. I'll probably have a treasure that spawns up there. Oh, you could hear some, uh... Yeah, so the view right now is my collision map. Because this isn't really finished, it's just kind of me testing, so... You know... <laughs> uh, you got Pikmin falling off the side here. So you have these holes. They go to a variety of places, but, uh... You have... This spot right here. And you come up here, and uh, there's this spot. This little hole is here for you to help gather your Pikmin up and stuff. But the Pikmin do pretty well uh, navigating through these caves and stuff. So this one's a little room up here. I think I'm probably going to have like Groinks on the ledges here and maybe like a treasure over here. The, this one's specifically made so that the ledge is too high to be reached with yellow Pikmin. And... Whoop, there is... Yeah, you can see uh, some of the tubes under there. I have a tube that... Well, this is a bit of a secret, but... You know, I'm already showing off the entire room anyway, so I'll go ahead and show it. Uh, but while I do that, I'll talk about... So this cave is more like... Uh, story mode, kind of... Uh, uh, story mode... Made with story mode in, in mind. So like... Uh... I make it so that it's kind of more of a challenge to get the treasures as opposed to like uh, so like the puzzles involved are for treasures and, but that would be kind of like a waste of a time waste of time if you were playing for like challenge mode unless the treasures were worth like that many points but uh, this brings you off to a little secret room over here. Oh, and the camera's really screwing up because Louie's so far away. That's another problem. The captains kind of get uh, dislodged in the cave like that. But uh, this brings you over to here. So I'll have a treasure back there in that circle room over there. <coughs> uh, there's no routes here, so I can't show how things are carried quite yet. Uh... Okay, that's a clip. That's a clipping issue that would naturally happen. That one's not too dangerous or anything, but uh, one thing that I'm trying to solve, or well, I've kind of given up on solving it, honestly. But uh, you can. It's like you you kind of have to deliberately try to clip your Pikmin through the tunnels like that. But uh, <coughs> if you just don't try to clip your Pikmin through the tunnels, you should be fine. Oh, I know you can walk off the ledge and get on top of that cinder block. I've done it before. But, uh, I don't know. It doesn't really add anything, but it's kind of fun to be able to walk on the cinder block like that. But, uh, that's all for this room so far. I still have to make spawns for it. <coughs> I'm thinking having enemies that are spawned in there. Maybe one, like, up on that first level there. Um, I won't be putting enemy, any enemies inside of the tunnels, because I feel like that would be uh, pretty unfair. But this open area, this is plenty of space to have a 
interesting enemy to fight. And, you know, if it's something... <coughs> if it's something like a... Like a bull bear, or not a bull bear, but like a orange bull borb, you could have like Louie down here and he gets its attention, and then you could have Olimar up on the ledge here and he throws Pikmin down onto it. Like that would be kind of a neat fighting like scenario. <coughs> and I already talked about that other room with the ledges, I would have some uh, Gatling pranks in there most likely. But uh, <coughs> that's all I have to show for now. I still have to make this room like uh, uh, more visually polished. Right now, you can see through all the uh, see through all the walls, and you can. Uh, <coughs> I mean, just in general, it's kind of clipping in and out and stuff. And I want to make the uh, the black like shading where it's like darker near the top of the wall. Yet. <coughs> but uh, I want to make sure I have my collision and like the model all set how I want it before I do that because uh, it can be kind of uh, annoying to work with the FBX or not the FBX the uh, uh, the because because when you do the other one you have to use the other file type and it's just more annoying that way that's all uh, I think that's it though thanks for watching